So now we get to the concept of subnetting. So to try to explain subnetting, I'm going to start off with just saying subnetting is when we divide one network into smaller networks. In other words, if we have a network like the 192.168.50.0 network slash 24, we have this network right here. We have one network of 256 hosts minus the network address and the broadcast address. So you have 254 usable hosts, but we'll say one network of 256 hosts. So if we have this, we have one network of 256 hosts. Subnetting is saying, what if I took this one network of 256 hosts and I divided it into two networks of 128 hosts? Can I do that? Yes, you can. You can take this one network of 256 hosts and changing the subnet mask from slash 24 to slash 25, you could make two subnets of 128 hosts. Or you could take this one network of 256 hosts and you could create four networks out of it. And those we call those four subnets of 64 hosts each. Four times 64 is 256. Now to do that, each subnet will have slash 26 as its subnet mask or 255.255.255.192. Or you could take this one network and you could turn it into eight subnets or eight networks of 32 hosts each. Basically, 256 divided by eight is 32. And so you could have eight smaller networks of 32 hosts each. To do that, you change the subnet mask to slash 27. And if you wanted 16 subnets of 16 hosts each, you could change the subnet mask to slash 28. You could also do a slash 29 if you wanted 32 subnets of 8 hosts each, or slash 30 if you wanted 64 subnets of 4 hosts each. Now typically we don't go lower than slash 30 because 4 hosts per subnet is, is what you need because you can't use the network address and the broadcast address. And if you only have four hosts per network minus two, that means only two usable addresses. So usually the highest we go is slash 30 because that leaves two usable host addresses. But anyway, the idea is that subnetting, you're dividing one network into smaller networks. To do that, your subnet mask gets larger. As your subnet mask gets larger, you create subnets. Let's take another look at that. So same concept here. You have the one network of 256 hosts. Notice our subnet mask, slash 24, with all zeros in the host portion. We have eight bits of zeros, or two to the eighth power, 256 hosts, minus two is 254 usable. Now, if I wanna turn this into two subnets, I change it to slash 25, and now my subnet mask is all ones here, all ones, all ones, and then a one here, and now I have less zeros. Instead of having two to the eighth power of zeros, or eight zeros, I only have seven zeros, and two to the seventh power is 128. So I have, if I have seven zeros, I only have 128 hosts minus two per subnet. But this is what the subnet mask looks like if you want to create two subnets. They'd be slash 25. With four subnets, notice I have two more bits in my subnet mask. I go from slash 24 to slash 26, and now my subnet mask is eight ones, eight ones, eight ones, and then two more ones. Notice my zeros. I only have six zeros. And two to the sixth power is 64 hosts minus two. So it makes sense. I have less host bits for less hosts. Also, I'll point something out here that for four subnets, I do slash 26. Notice I've got two subnet bits now. I've borrowed from the zeros, I've borrowed two ones, and two to the second power is four, creating four subnets. Here, I changed this zero to a one. I borrowed one zero, made that a one. I have added a one here, I added two subnets. Two to the first power is two, two subnets. Notice here, slash 27, I've got 27 ones. I added these three ones. Two to the third power is eight, and I've got now eight subnets. Also, my zeros, I've got five zeros, and two to the fifth power is 32 hosts. So you can see how important the subnet mask is to defining these subnets. 
And if I want a slash 28 subnet mask and I want to divide this one network, and I want to divide this one network of 256 into smaller networks, I can divide it into 16 subnets. And now I have four zeros in my host portion here. Notice this is the network portion, the network portion, the network portion. These are my subnet bits. These are my host bits. And I have two to the fourth power of hosts, meaning I have 16 hosts per subnet. Let's look at this another way. One network of 256 hosts, 192.168.50.0 slash 24, there's your subnet mask. These, this is your two subnets of 120 hosts each. You'd have the 192.168.50.0, but instead of slash 24, it's slash 25, and this is your subnet mask. And the next subnet is 192.168.50.128 slash 25. Notice that you have 0 to 127 and 128 to 255. There's your two subnets. If you want four subnets of 64 hosts each, the networks will go up by 64. So your first subnet is 192.168.50.0 slash 26. The next subnet is 50.64. The next subnet is 128, and the next subnet's 192. So this is a network address, this is a network address, this is a network address, and this is a network address. They all have a slash 26 subnet mask, and they all have this subnet mask in decimal. Converted to decimal, this is what their subnet mask would be. But what's interesting about this is that you've created four subnets, four smaller networks from the one network here. Also, what you realize is that a network address, which is not usable, does not have to be a zero. In this case, the network address is a 64, in this case a 128, in this case a 192. By the way, if this is the network address and it's this smaller network, what's the broadcast address? Well, if you said 63, you're right, so it's zero, to 63 and 63 is the broadcast this network the 64 network to 127 and 127 is the broadcast 128 to 191 and 191 is the broadcast because the next network is 192 and this last one 192 all the way up to 255 and 255 is the broadcast and 192 is the network now, if you wanted to divide this one network of 256 hosts into eight subnets of 32 hosts each, then you would see what this is what it would look like. You'd have a zero subnet, you'd have a 32 subnet, 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, and 224. So you now have eight smaller networks from this one network. Why does this work? It works because of the binary. The binary is what makes this work. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look back at our original idea. In this case, we've said, okay, here's our IP address, 192.168.50.112, but now instead of a slash 24 subnet mask, we have slash 26. We have this non-standard, non-classful, classless subnet mask, slash 26, and you can see here that the subnet mask now is 255.255.255.192. Why? Because we have 26 ones in the subnet mask. So 255.255.255 and then 128 plus 64 is 192. Now, we need to find what network it's on. So it takes the IP address in binary and ands it with the subnet mask. And you can see here it does a logical anding operation on it. A true and a true makes a true. True and a true is true. And then over here, take a look what happens in this last octet. A false and a true makes a false. But here you have, uh oh, a true and a true makes a true. And then you have zero, 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 zero. So, and then all falses. So now the, ne the, the result is the network in binary, then converted to decimal. And you can see that the network is. The 192.168.50.64 network. So if your host 192.168.50.112 
and you have a slash 26 subnet mask, then you're on the 192.168.50.64 subnet.